Hello everyone. In this video, we will solve a numerical problem which was asked in GATE 2023 Electrical Engineering subject. And this problem is from Electrical Machines Single Phase Transformer. Okay. So the problem says when the winding CD of the single phase 50 hertz two winding transformer is supplied from an AC current source of frequency 50 hertz. So this is in this diagram CD is the winding in which a AC current source is supplying with a frequency of 50 hertz. Okay. Now we are getting a rated voltage of 200 volts 50 hertz at the open circuited terminals AB. Now on the other side terminals AB is given in which we are getting a voltage of 200 volts 50 hertz frequency. These are open circuited. No load is connected across AB. Okay. The cross sectional area of the core is 5000 mm square and the average core length traversed by the mutual flux is 500 mm. The maximum allowable flux density in the core is Bm is given as 1 tesla and the relative permeability of the core material is 5000. So mu r is given as 5000. The leakage impedance z of the winding ab and winding cd at 50 hertz are also given. So z on both the side is given. Considering the magnetizing characteristics to be linear and neglecting the core losses we have to find the self inductance of the windings AB in milli Henry. So this is the winding AB in which we have to find the self inductance. So first of all, you have to gather all the data which is given in the question and what is asked in the question. So write all the formulas which are involved in that. Okay. And see whatever the values are given and what values are not given in the question. Now looking at this question, it is seems to be very lengthy, but uh, it's a trick that you are getting a bigger problem and the solution is as simple as that. Okay. So in this question, the self inductance of winding AB is asked. So self inductance is equals to mutual plus leakage. So first you have to find mutual inductance plus leakage. Leakage is 0.16. 0.16 is the impedance or the leakage impedance of winding AB. So 0.16 you have to add with the answer whatever you are getting. Okay. So L plus 0.16. So what is the formula of L? L is equals to N square by S plus 0.16. Okay. So what is N? N is the number of turns of the winding AB divided by reluctance S. Okay. Now see the formula for S and N. What is that for S? S is equals to L upon mu naught mu r into A. Now what is L? L is the core length. It is given as 500 meters. Okay. L is given as 500. Sorry, 500 mm is given. Now you have to convert it to meter. Why? Because see B max, what is the unit? Weber's per meter square. So B is given in meter square. So you have to convert the cross sectional area as well as the length of the core into meters. So when you're converting 500 mm to meter, what you have to do? Multiply it with 10 to the power minus 3. So what you will get? L is equals to 0.5 mm. L is equals to 500 mm is equals to 0.5 meters. Now converting to the area of core 5000 mm square. It is mm square. So it will be 10 to the power minus 6. Okay. So multiply 5000 into 10 to the power minus 6. You will get 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter square. So all the units are same now in meters. So substituting directly substitute the value. You will get the reluctance. So L is given as 0.5. Mu 0, what is mu 0? It is equals to 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7. Mu r is 5000 given. Area is given as point, uh, sorry, 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter square. You will get the value of reluctance. Okay. Next, what we want? We want the value of number of turns of the winding. So for that, what is given in the question? The voltage. We are obtaining 200 rated voltage. 
uh, at terminals A, B. So, EMF equation of a transformer is equals to 4.44 F N1 BM into A. So, from that you will get the value of number of turns of the winding. So, N is equals to E upon 4.44 F into BM into A. Everything is given. E is 200, 4.44 into 50 hertz into BM is 1 into area of cross section is 5 into 10 to the power minus 3. Substitute all the values, you will directly get the formula. Simple, is it? See the, just you have to solve it on your own and match all the answers, okay? So, reluctance S is L upon mu naught mu R into A. Substitute all the values, you will get 15915.49 ampere turns per Weber's. Next, we have to find the number of turns. So, E is equals to 4.44 F and BM into A. Number of turns, you will get 180.18. Now, number of turns can't be in decimal. So, you have to convert it to whole number. So, you can take the nearest 180 turns. Okay. Or you can take 181 also. Both will give you correct answer. If you are taking 181 also, the answer will be correct. All right. So, substituting in L is equals to N square by 8. Uh, S, it will be 180 into 180 upon 15915.49. You will get 2.0357 Henry's. Okay. The, but what is asked? You have to find uh, inductance in milli Henry's. So, you have to multiply it with 10 to the power 3. Okay. Then, self-inductance of winding AB will be L plus mutual, uh, this leakage. So, 0.16 Henry is given in the question. So, you will get 2.1957 Henry's. So, in converting it to milli Henry, you will get 2195.7 milli Henry's. So, this is the correct answer and you have to find it up to 1 decimal. So, 0.7 is okay. All right. Hope you understood this numerical problem. Thank you for watching.